Hee 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 hee, I'm an evil nerd, and I'm going to hack on this Minecraft server. Mwahahaha! Stop, hacker! It is I, Spartan Anti-Cheat, and I am here to crush you! No! What is up, crafters? Today we are going to be taking a look at the Spartan Anti-Cheat plugin. I usually start with something like, oh, this new plugin, but it's not new. It's actually like eight years old, but that's a good thing because it means that it has had more updates and more bug fixes and stuff. So in this video, I will be showing you how to set up and configure Spartan, and then we'll do a little test with it on Java and Bedrock because it's also Bedrock compatible. And finally, I will give my thoughts and opinions on it at the end. And also this plugin is paid, so you'll have to purchase it. I'll have the links in the description. I was given a free license for making a video on it, but all thoughts in this video will be completely my own. But before you protect your server from hackers, you kind of need a server for that. And the best place to get one of those is from Craftlands Hosting. This new host is already making waves in the hosting community with their powerful Ryzen 9 latest gen processors for a lag-free experience. There's a plethora of great features, including a config manager, a version changer, a mod pack installer, player manager, server splitter, and even free subdomains. But let's be honest, the recycle bin is the best feature, allowing you to recover deleted files for up to 24 hours. Craftlands also has powerful anti-DDoS protection to shield your server from DDoS attacks for uninterrupted gameplay. They have budget plans as low as one euro and 69 cents per month, which is less than two US dollars. There are some more premium options available as well. I even use Craftlands Hosting to run my Minecraft server Farcross, and so far I've had a great experience. So check out Craftlands Hosting in the description and craft your land. Okay, so first of all, you'll want to go ahead and download the plugin so you can get it on Spigot or Built by Bit or Polymart. So there are two different versions. There's Java version and there's also Bedrock version. So if you purchase it on Spigot, then you can get the Bedrock Edition for free if you just leave a review. So once you do go ahead and purchase it, then you'll want to go into their Discord. And right here, you'll just have to like sign in and all that. And then you click on download. And then here is Java Edition, Bedrock Edition for Spartan. And you also have the unlimited detection slots. Basically, that's as many players as you can detect at a certain time. So we'll just go ahead and click on this and download and then it will download it for us. If it says this, it's probably a false positive, so you can go ahead and download that. And then what we'll want to do is head over to your server on panel.craftlands.host, and we'll want to go ahead and put Spartan into your plugins folder. We're going to go ahead and start or restart your server. Okay, there we go, so our server has started up, so we can go in console and type PL. We can see we now have Spartan via version geyser and floodgate. So now we're going to go back into our file manager and we're just going to take a look at the configuration for Spartan. So right here we have these different YML files. So the checks, this is all of the different checks that this plugin has. There are quite a few as you can see. So silent basically means like, do the players get set back or does it just kind of silently check them? And then once they've made enough violations, will it like kick or ban them or execute the command that you set? And then you can also change the worlds that it's disabled in. So if you have like a lobby and you for some reason want to let them hack in the lobby, then you would just put the world name right there. And then there are some silent worlds. So these are worlds where it will be silent and it won't set them back. So, and then we can change if you want to punish them. So if you didn't want to execute the command, then you would change punish to false, but it's still going to be checking them in the background. It won't ban them or kick them or anything. And then the compatibility.yml, this one's pretty cool. These are all of the different plugins that Spartan is compatible with right here. So if you wanted to not enable these, then you would just set enabled to false, but I, I don't know why you would do that. So here are the messages.yml. You can change the messages. I don't think it gets any more straightforward than messages.yml. So you just go in here, you can use your color codes and all that. And then we have the SQL. So if you wanted to link this up with a MySQL database and you would just go right here, fill in all of your details and then it will be linked up between multiple servers. So back into the settings.yml, right here we can see all of this good stuff so you can like log to a file you can log to 
your console. You can even like block words in chat. So, you know, it's an extra feature. And then we also have some other important stuff like op bypass. So there is a bypass permission, but if you want op to have bypass the plugin, then you would probably want to set that to true. And then for our bedrock player prefix, typically it is the period. But if you have it as like an underscore, then you would just change it to underscore. But we'll just leave it as a dot for now. Okay, I think that's pretty much all we can look at for the configuration. Let's hop in game and check it out, shall we? So here we are on the server and we can also see that I have worst injected. I don't know, I'm basic. I just use worst. I don't really hack much. So we can go ahead and already start to see that we have some checks going on and I'm receiving these messages because I have op, but since I don't have op bypass on, that's why it's still checking me and setting me back. So if we were to go ahead and type slash Spartan, this dude spawns and I'm still getting checked. So we can right click on him and then these are all like suspected hackers on your server. So once there were more people on the server hacking and stuff, then these would start showing up. So right here we have the auto updater so you can like just um, automatically update the plugin. And then right here we have the management. So this is pretty cool. You can just for all of these different checks, you can like disable them or make them silent and stuff. So you can also do that for all of the checks as well. So if you wanted to disable all of the checks, then you could. But what's the point of having an anti cheat then? And we can also enable silent checking. So this isn't going to like set back. So this, go away. So see, it's not setting me back. Oh, there we go, I got kicked. But yeah, it doesn't, it's not going to set me back. It's just going to check. And once I hit enough violations, then it's going to kick me. So there are also some commands such as slash Spartan menu. So you don't just have to like see that guy. Oh, where'd, they, where'd he go? He's gone. So we can also do slash Spartan and then info to learn more about the plugin. So you can see all of the different checks and all the different violations for those checks. Okay, so let's go ahead and test it. So right now I have flight on. So if I just go up a little bit, I get kicked for irregular movements. And then let's see, let's try. What about bunny hop? Oh, shoot, I saw flight on An idiot. Okay. This is kind of a stupid hack if you think about it. It just makes you hop like a bunny. So I don't think I'm getting checked for bunny hop. All right, speed. Okay, now it's flagging me. So I'm not going that fast. And if we were to set, let's set silent to false. So Spartan menu, and we will go to management and we're just going to disable silent checking. So now I'm getting set back. So it pretty much prevents me from moving when I have speed hack on, but if I don't have speed hack on, then it shouldn't set me back. There we go. Let's turn off cave finder. Let's try no fall. So this basically will protect me from fall damage. Okay, so I am getting flagged for it, but it's not enough to kick me. So if I try from a really high spot, let's see what it does. Okay, didn't check me there. Let's go ahead and try Jesus. So I'll just head over to the water and game mode survival. So it's definitely flagging me for something. Oh gosh. So Jesus does not work very well. It doesn't like me doing this. Let's try jetpack. Oh, yep. Does not like jetpack. Now let's go ahead and try this on bedrock. All right, so here we are on bedrock. I'm only using Horion because once again, I'm cheap and I don't have like some crazy hack client. So to start off, let's just try. I have speed, air jump, kill aura. So let's turn off speed for now. I press numpad too. I hate the numpad, dude. Okay, let's see if it blocks DVD logo. 
I'm not getting kicked for DVD logo, dang. Okay, let's try some actual hacks. Let's try fly. Okay. What? How do I fly? I know how to jetpack. Oh, there. I, I think I had it, but yep, the anti cheat stopping me from flying. Okay. Oh, there we go. Got kicked for speed. Okay, we're back. Let's just try. Let's try jetpack. This is one of my favorites. Okay, I'm definitely getting set back for it, so it's definitely checking me. So that's good. Yep. Not working very well. And no clip. I. Okay, no clip's not working very well. Let's me go up until I hit that. Okay, let's try. Let's try no fall. Here, wait. I have Java edition right here, so I can just. Oh, shoot. Oh my gosh. I can't stop hacking now. Okay. TP, MC Croy, Craft Croy. Okay, there we go. Now I'm just going to jump off the side and we'll see if no fall works for me. Oh, I took damage. That means it doesn't work. Lol, hackers. Let's try click TP, see if that works. Okay, it's not working for me, as you can see. I'm trying to teleport, but it'll just like teleport me back. Okay, what about dot TP? That works on here. Okay, it teleports me back. That's good. I think without an anti-cheat, it doesn't do that. Let's go ahead and try a little bit of kill Ara. I probably don't say that right. I don't know. Okay, here we go. Kill Ara. Okay, let's see. Am I getting flagged for it on here? Ah, yes. It, it definitely can tell I'm doing something. Sometimes it's not about like if it bans them, it's more about alerting staff that they're hacking for staff to like check it out. Okay, so now that you've had a chance to see Spartan in action, I would like to share some of my thoughts on it with you. We'll start with some positives and then I'll discuss some of the things that I think need improvement. I think that if you have a server with geyser, then this plugin is a must because most anti-cheats free or paid don't actually check bedrock players. And if they do, it's garbage. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Themis. I also like how you're able to set up multiple punishments. This basically makes it possible to warn hackers by kicking them, and then if they decide to do it again, then you ban them. I also like the in-game menus. It makes it really easy to configure the plugin on the fly. However, some of the checks in this plugin aren't perfect. I've been using Spartan on my Minecraft server, Far Cross, for about a month now, and some of the players were getting false flagged by it, especially the irregular movements check, so I had to disable that one. But overall, this plugin works pretty well. It might just require a little bit of configuration. So whether you decide to buy this plugin or not is completely up to you. I would definitely recommend doing your research and reading some reviews before you decide to jump straight into it. And obviously don't just take my word for it because I'm an evil scumbag Minecraft YouTuber after all. There is a Spartan test server, which you can join on Java 1.21 and also on Bedrock. So you can test out the anti-cheat there. And honestly, this server is like really fun. I might just get some friends together and just go have a party on it someday. We all know that's a lie because I don't have any friends. But what do you think about Spartan Anti-Cheat? Let me know in the comments below, or if you don't have any thoughts on it, then just leave your favorite emoji and also do all that YouTube garbage you've heard a million times and join both of my Minecraft servers. They are really fun. And also check out Craftlands hosting for a very powerful Minecraft server. But until next time, I will see you on the other side and happy crafting. I'm out.